Let's first talk about the indefinite articles a and an. We use these articles with singular nouns, as in a vase, a box, an angel. Singular nouns are countable nouns. We can count vases, we can count boxes, we can count angels. A singular noun means one thing or person. A vase, one vase, a box, one box, an angel, one angel. We use indefinite articles to identify, classify, or define a noun. By that I mean we're naming something, or we're telling what kind of thing it is. If you don't know what a knick-knack is, I can define it for you. A knick-knack is a small decoration. We use indefinite articles to make a general reference. The speaker is not talking about a specific thing or person. This is important to understand. Indefinite articles are used to make a general reference. You may wonder why we have a choice of two indefinite articles, a and an. It has to do with pronunciation. We use a before a singular noun that starts with a consonant sound, as in a candle, a doll. Candle begins with a consonant sound k, candle. Doll begins with a consonant sound d, doll. Now we may have a singular noun all by itself, or the noun can be in a phrase, as in a beautiful doll. We're still talking about one doll, a doll, but we have the adjective beautiful. Beautiful begins with a consonant sound b, beautiful, so we need a, a beautiful doll. Use an before a singular noun that starts with a vowel sound, as in an angel. Now look at the next example, our. Our starts with the letter h, but we don't pronounce the letter h. The first letters that we pronounce are o and u. That's a vowel sound. That's why we say an hour, not a hour. An hour is correct. Also, the noun might appear in a noun phrase as in an interesting knick-knack. Interesting begins with a vowel sound, so we say an. An interesting knick-knack. We're going to play a little game now. I'm going to test your memory. Look closely, because I want you to remember where all my knick-knacks go. Do you think you can remember? Let's see. If you recall, I have a vase, a candle, a doll and a box, an angel, and a photo cube. Okay, so now the fun part. Do you remember? Where does the box go? Here. The box goes here, on this shelf. Do you remember where the candle went? Up here. The candle goes up here. How about the vase? Do you remember? The vase goes up here. How about the photo cube? Goes here on that shelf. How about the angel? The angel went over here. And the doll? Over here. Did you get them all right? Let's begin to talk about how the indefinite and definite articles are different. A and an are indefinite articles. We often use them before a singular noun the first time we mention it. The is a definite article. We use it before a singular noun after the first mention. The makes a noun specific. It is known and understood by the speaker and listener. So one very big difference between indefinite and definite articles is that the definite article the is used in a specific sense for a specific reference. Note how we have one definite article that can be pronounced two different ways. Pronounce the as the before a consonant sound 
as in the vase. Pronounce T-H-E as the before a vowel sound, as in the interesting vase. Listen again. The, the vase. The, the interesting vase. As you know, this is a box. It's a Russian box, and the lid has a beautiful painting. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's very beautiful. Note that we use the definite article the with a noun that is specific from context. What does that mean? It means we use the even in the first mention of a singular noun if the particular thing or person is known or understood by both the speaker and listener. For example, you heard me say, This is a Russian box. The lid has a beautiful painting. I say lid for the first time. I use the definite article the, the lid. Why? Because you know what I'm talking about. You understand which specific lid I'm speaking of. The lid of this Russian box. Let me tell you a little bit more about some of the knickknacks. As I said, this is a vase. I use the vase for bookmarks. I like to collect bookmarks because I like to read. This is a candle, and as you know, candles are made of wax. This candle is special because it has leaves. The leaves were pressed into the wax. Do you see? I think this is a beautiful doll. I brought it back from Russia, as you can tell by the traditional clothing.